Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? Welcome to uh, yet another stream. Sorry, I, I had some technical difficulties once again. Um, crazy, crazy how it goes. Uh, but welcome all, welcome to yet another stream. Good evening, uh, Mini Marvels, and good evening everybody on YouTube as well. Um, little tip for YouTube, just come and say hi. Just come and say hi, you guys are always so quiet. Um, hey, what's up Celestrian? What's going on? Uh, I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, how has your, uh, how's your uh, week been so far, you guys? Mine is quite busy, but, um, but good busy. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be back at work um, and to, uh, to, to, to make stuff and to record videos and yeah it's actually it's actually pretty nice um maybe i should close my curtains because the light is a bit ugly at the moment i look all green and everything but um but yeah uh so yeah i hope everybody's been doing quite well uh, last Monday's stream was a bit short because I had um, a video shoot the day after. It was really, really early in um, uh, pretty much uh, at the, the, the opposite <laughs> opposite side of the Netherlands to where I live. Um, so yeah, it was um, I had to get up early and everything. Tomorrow I have another one. Uh, it's not quite as early, but um, still have to get some decent sleep. Um, but yeah, let's let's just paint up some uh, some cool things. Uh, what's been new? What's been new? Not much actually. Um, we did have a little. Uh, we did have a little talk. Uh, very very short talk with Mini Marvels about something cool that uh, might be happening soon. Uh, I will tell you guys about it later. It involves like the instant paints uh, for skill 75. Uh, so um, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's probably going to be very cool. And Mini Marvels, I think, I think we should do it. Yes. Um, sorry, I was so so short today. I was um, I was working on some stuff. Oh, I was working by the way on um, all the things that I should. I, sh I should have been working on for for some time and that's like the channel trailer and I want to do a little intro before the stream starts you know just to do a little compilation of the stream uh, I, I saw that with a few other streamers that I enjoy watching so uh, so yeah um, today I want to start off by something um, something pretty cool because after my stream uh, this Monday, I head over to um, I head over to Rainbow's uh, stream. No, no, actually, it was yesterday. I think, yeah, yesterday. I went home yesterday. I I um, I had um, um, I was at a friend's place, and I had I, I went over there and came home, and then I saw that Rainbow was online, so I clicked. On her stream and to my surprise i was seeing some new stickers that she's making for the um for the giveaway that i'm doing for you know when i'm when i'm going to hit that uh, 1000 subscribers uh she was she was working on that and then i stayed uh, stayed with her for uh, for a long time during that stream i just wanted to show off what she made because it was it was pretty cool uh let me check if we can get it in there the audio is probably not going to be uh, very loud, but... We have a classic Rainbow Wrangler glowy mushroom. We have the wizard gnome. So we have a wizard gnome. We have the student TM. Uh, she's making an emote out of this. We have then we have this one, which is really, really, really cool. This one, <laughs> it's really, really awesome. And of course, 
Oh God, I love this one so much. So um, yeah, if you, if you do not follow the Rainbow Wrangler, uh, please do because um, she's such such an awesome person she uh, she's super super um, uh, supportive and and just started to make started making these you know I love them I love them a lot uh, so yeah oh I'm sorry there yeah, they're epic and they are going to be part of the giveaway. The other thing that I want to uh, want to give away, um, I'm still thinking about it. Sorry, I'm kind of messing up. Still thinking about the uh, the other thing that I want to uh, want to give away, but it's probably going to be a miniature, and it's probably going to be one of the exclusive miniatures that I got for my Warhammer. Uh, plus subscription. So I have a few of those now. I think there's uh, three years of them, two years of them now. Uh, so I'm probably going to throw one of those in uh, because I won't be painting uh, them, I think. Uh, they're nice, but um, yeah, I think uh, someone uh, someone can, uh, can use those and make something cool. Uh, I was actually thinking about assembling some blood bowl today but then i saw my painting station and i saw the unpainted stars legion miniatures the few that i have left uh that i primed and assembled and everything and i thought no no just you know please go through with this please go through with this so uh yeah we're just going to finish up the um the the basic rebel troopers the last squad or the, the 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 almost the last squad. I have one more to do, uh, but I'm going to wait with those because I have a lot of things to uh, to work on. Um, apart from that, what else is new? Oh yeah, I know what's new. Uh, you might uh, not know this, but uh, me and Mini Marvels, who is also in the chat, Mini Marvels is a is a is a web store. Uh, for 3D printed miniatures and diorama and terrain making and bases and all kinds of cool stuff. And um, <laughs> he started around the same time that I started doing streams and content and everything. And now the store is has grown so much that um, they're actually going to need a new location. So this is awesome. Um, yeah, support Mini Marvels if you can. If you want to, there is a discount going on. Mini Marvels, you can drop them in the chat if you want to. Uh, to to celebrate this uh, this nice uh, nice little milestone or little milestone, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Mini Marvels has some awesome products. Whenever I get my paints, whenever I get um, any terrain making. Uh, diorama making stuff. I um, Mini Marvels is is the one place that I that I go to. The service is amazing. Um, the best, actually, uh, better than uh, most of the other uh, stores that I uh, that I ordered from so far. Um, and uh, yeah, you should definitely definitely check Mini Marvels out. Yeah, so we have the Celebration 5 at checkout or, of course, the Winners 2024, uh, which you can use for a 10% discount at mini-marvels.nl. Fiddy Jazz, bonsoir, mon cher. What's going on, Fiddy Jazz? If you want to, Fiddy Jazz. Um... Ooh, you're on YouTube. I'm not sure if I, I... I'm going to drop it, but we have a Discord now. Fiddy Jazz. Um, I just set it up. There's a few people in there, and we're showing. Um, uh, we're showing. You know, we have a showcase channel. We have a Star Wars Legion channel. We have all kinds of channels. Probably too much, uh, which I will correct later. But let's just see how it goes. This is really just the beginning of the Discord channel. Uh, but I'd love to. Um, Maybe do some, um, yeah, like Star Wars Legion strategies and just chat with everybody. 
Uh, I had a little chat with the mouse geek on there as well. Um, so yeah, let's see how I will do this. Um, just give me a sec. Invite people, copy. So Fiddy Jazz, if you want to, and anyone on YouTube, this is the link for the Discord. And the same goes for you guys here on, um, on Twitch. I'm really annoyed by my camera, you guys. I look, look weird. It's definitely because there is still light coming through from the outside. I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah. Okay, so mini marvels. Uh, also good news from the instant line if you decide to take me up on that offer. They said that they can send it to me within two working days if we want. Meaning I can send it to you whenever you want without worrying it makes anything run out of stock. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, let's discuss it uh, on WhatsApp. But I'm definitely in for it. And I also have an idea about... A video because I think I want to do a video. I have not seen a good video on the instant line, uh, the skill 75 instant line uh, so far. Uh, although I am going to be honest because I, I, the videos that I saw, they were really not that. C can you clarify for me, Mini Marvels? Did they? They have a new line, right? They have a new line. Like this is the this is the new line, or or is it just this one? Because I saw some people complain about it. Um, so yeah. I want to see it for myself. And yeah, so far, like all the instant paints that I use, I mean, I like them a lot. So I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, like I said, they're like temperamental a bit. Um, erroneous Platonius. Hey, what's up? Um, I have tried instant colors from Skill 75. They are not on the level of those from Vallejo. Yeah, so I have a few erroneous Platonius, and I really like them a lot. I um, I like them a lot. Did you did you try the old ones or the new ones then? Because apparently Mini Marvel says that it's from the end of 23. Yeah, I I'm also thinking about I'm also thinking about running them through the airbrush. Okay, so let's just let's just get it the idea over with. What what I'm thinking is uh, but I, I'm going to have to check with you, obviously. I'm thinking about doing like, how many paints is it? Is it like 46 or something? You said? I'm thinking about doing like um, 46 uh, gnomes. <laughs> like 46 gnomes. Just, just to try out the instant colors and just line them up and then people can see how, like as a, you know, as a, as a tryout. You know, normally people do them on basis. They try out the instant line on basis, but yeah, Ronis Platonis. I uh, I'm not sure either, man. I um, the the few that I have, I will uh, move over to my uh, overhead cam. By the way, uh, let's get that in order first. Looks like someone got murdered here. Like I slaughtered a little mouse or something. Um, so the ones that I have right now and that I like, first of all, that I like, <laughs> uh, let's see, this is not instant, where's the other one? I thought I had more, well, anyways. Yeah, I have the Rage Brown. Where's the Rage Brown? Ah, oh, it's right here. These are the ones that I have. Uh, 
And I like these a lot. I have to say, this one, the Rage Brown, um, on larger surfaces, it, it's a bit, it's a bit harder to use. It's um, it gets a little bit patchy. Uh, this one is is one of my favorites. I uh, I used it on a base. Should I get it? It's not here. Is it? No, it's 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 not here. Um, this one I've used a little bit, and this one I've also used. I I I mean I like all of them. I like all of them. The only thing is that this one is a bit hard to use on bigger surfaces, um, but very nice on um, on very textured surfaces, basically. Yeah, so um, Mini Marvel says I think it's one of the main issues people have with it uh, that it's not 100% opaque on large services or less than the Express at least. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that I have never used, like for example, these. I really never use them as contrast paints. I never use them as, you know, one quick coat and then you're done. I always use them as a base color, um, maybe a few, and then I layer on top of there with some lighter color. So, yeah. Uh, one example of what I mean. Uh, these are not finished, by the way, guys. Uh, these are not finished, but okay. Look at the brown here, like the brown of his jacket. Um, not really any problems with that, right? It looks, I mean, it looks how it how it's supposed to look. But then we have the leader. And it's pretty patchy, but in a way, it does look like leather, you know? In a way, I really like it. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this is maybe do an additional layer of this. But, but see what I mean? It's, it's a bit patchy. It doesn't flow as well, I guess. But it's just a different use. And I think that that goes the same for GW paints, basically. <laughs> it does look like cherry wood, yes. <laughs> uh, what's... What is currently your favorite unit in your rebel army? Well, I have to be honest with you. I have only been painting up basic rebel troopers, uh, um, Fiddy Jazz. And I have not tried any other stuff and I have not played a game in a while. I was talking about that with Rick today. He's probably joining the stream later as well. If you, uh, if you guys wanna, wanna chat with him. Um, but I do, the, the last time I played a game, I played my um, my land speeder, uh, Fiddy Jazz, and my land speeder was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to uh, to run. Um, I um, it's it's very good. The land speeder is actually very good. So I would want to uh, to run a list with uh, maybe two uh, land speeders. See how that goes. Uh, Mini Marvels, yeah, I had this with the toads for the gnomes. On those patchiness worked very well. For, uh, on those, the patchiness worked very well for the model. Yeah, yeah, and I think, uh, for example, you guys like uh, do not look at his clothing yet. It's not. It's, it looks quite pes messy and everything. But this Rodian skin is done with... Um, with this one. But then I highlighted it with... Um, I think with this. So it works. Um, 
Bad news, by the way. Black Remnant has quit as of yesterday. He will not make any new designs and likely uh, a lot of his old ones might disappear from the online platform. So you and Rick have to check <laughs> what should be added soon. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I was stuck. You know what? I'm going to send him a message right now. Um, okay, yeah, I, uh, I sent him a message, so uh, he should be, uh, I think he'll, he'll pop by and uh, he, can, he can check. He did have something very cool, like a custom, well, let me check this. Okay, so there's things like the community expansion. And you know the uh, the idea that I had for the Tuscan Raiders. Well, here we go. <laughs> this is a community expansion, so this is uh, community made, and I think they work exactly the way that I wanted them to work. Um, in in the games that I would play with uh, with Rick. Can't really see the cards though, but this is uh, this is pretty cool. Oh, here's the cards. Yeah, so um, this is this is uh, fun. <laughs> There's a lot of like community um, community driven content uh, in the Star Wars Legion um, uh, game. Apparently, I did not know about this, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I will uh, I will get back to this uh, when uh, when Rick arrives. He can talk about it a little bit more, maybe. Um, for now, let's just continue, you guys. I'm really hoping for a Tuscan army or battle force to be released in the future. Yeah, uh, I, I'd be uh, I'd be all over that. Uh, Aronius Platonius, Plantonius, I should say. I'm sorry. I uh, I'd love to. Um, I'd love to play with Tuscans as well. <laughs> I mean, in the foreseeable future, I don't think it's going to happen though. They have pretty much announced everything until like 2025, I think. Hey, what's up, Ben's Mania over at YouTube? What's going on? Uh, welcome in. If this is your first time, is this your first time in uh, in the chat? I'm not sure. There he is, the boss mask geek. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much the entire, um, um, pretty much the entire range has been revealed, you know, what's coming up. And I'm mostly looking forward to um, to just the um, uh, the rebels. How have you been, Mask Geek? How nice of you to stop by uh, Rainbow's uh, um, stream yesterday.
Uh, I'll drop it one time again on YouTube because I see some more people coming in. If you want to join and chat on days that I'm not streaming, please head over uh, to uh, this Discord. And um, yeah, you can drop anything there. Star Wars Legion related, Blood Bowl related, whatever you want. It, it's 40k related even. Age of Sigmar related even. It's whatever you want. Popping up everywhere, this man. <laughs> I think uh, I think we should set a goal by the way for today guys because I'm I already talked about it Monday I'm a bit done with painting Star Wars Rebel basic troopers I'm done with the basic bitches guys <laughs> I painted up so many already uh, it's two core boxes and then I got an extra unit so I didn't I, I got it uh, from someone let's say uh, so we have these guys and this guy obviously I want to finish him today. I really want to finish him today. And I think I'm going for this um, for this base. So the Endor base. Because they will be a part of um, my... Yeah, my Ewok battle force. My, uh, my Bright Tree Village battle force. So I will always keep them for that, basically, you know? If we can finish it today, that would be really, really cool. Maybe I should get my AK um, interactive, interactive stuff at the ready as well. So I have a basic skin tone recipe for basically all the human skin that I, uh, that I do. Which is uh, Buckman's Glow. Let's get it here. Buckman's Glow. And then we have Kislev Flesh. In this order, basically. Uh, this being like the absolute highlights and everything. That's... That's what I do like with, with all the skin colors. Most, most of the times though. Dusk and Synergy with uh, Boba Fett Dime, yes. Plus Fennec, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Fiddy Jazz. I will see you, uh, I'll see you later, my man. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a bit all over the place, um, like you uh, you can expect from me. <laughs> but uh, let's let's first finish up like all the all the clothing. Mm. <laughs> I'm really going to I, I'm going to I'm going to ah so okay. I'm going to delete that one, Mini Mars. <laughs> I 
Uh, I honestly think that a Battle Force will be released for the Tuscans with Baba, Fennec, and the Big Pig Boys. But it will be at least two years from now is my guess, yeah. I mean, it is possible that Atomic Mass will release... Um, that they will release some Battle Forces in between. <laughs> They uh, they did that with um, with quite some other ones I think the book of Baba Battle Force wow that's 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 a really nice and marketable uh, name uh, Mask Geek Um, Agrax. I think I'm going to need some Agrax soon, guys. This is my first bottle of Agrax. But, uh, Mini Marvels, how about you give a little update on, on everything? How's it, how it's been going and with the products and everything? Bo-Katan, yes. I do want Bo-Katan as well, uh, Mask Geek. It would... Um, I, you know what I, what I want more than anything, though? Is... Um, Mandalorian core units. It's the most important thing for me. Mandalorian core units. I'm even thinking about like proxying them with like Mandalorian, I don't know, Rangers or something. A Mandalorian initiate, initiates, sorry. Get some, um, get some nice 3D models for that. I've seen it on Reddit. Looks pretty cool. So people are doing it. Um, so well, it's been quite, uh, it's been quite time of the month, always is, so I have mainly been preparing the move, uh, buying all the racks and desks, etc, preparing to move itself and doing the planning. I'm putting some of my palace shame up on Markplatz, okay. What have you sacrificed, Mini Marvels? Mouse Geek, what Mando movie? Is there a Mando movie? Like combat patrol boxes uh, or something, uh, mini marvels. Some old orcs. That's pretty cool. Do you, do you still have them? Um, you still have them online? Ah, thank you. A friend of mine is a uh, is a big, big, big time orc fan. He he mainly plays like all the um, all the vehicles, you know, like all the cars and all the all that kind of stuff.
Um, I am using um, Agrax Urchade uh, for the trousers, Mask Geek. I have to say that it looks very, very nasty on camera. It's not. It's it's not. It doesn't look like that here. Ah, oh, retire! Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you so much, retired. Did you did you have a stream uh, just now? Thanks so much. That's awesome. How have you been? Retired is a boss. Please, if you do not follow him, give him a follow. He he's painting a lot lately. I see you uh, online a lot. Uh, retired. Do you have a schedule, or is it just whenever, uh, whenever, whenever you can? Mini Marvel is off printing. <laughs> As always. Thank you so much, man. No way! Star Wars Legion or um, a Shatterpoint. All right, all right. Well, thank you so much for the gift shop, um, retired. Contrast, yeah, it was like like the Citadel Contrast or some other brand. I was just talking about these, the instant color. They've been working uh, working great for me. I um, I use a lot of contrast paints and uh, normally I do like contrast paints and then I use then I layer upon that you know if it's a nice color then I try to replicate that color and uh, do some um, some other stuff with that and sometimes I use it for like um, wet blending and um, all that kind of jails. And these, um, these are just rebel troopers, the basic rebel troopers that I really need to finish. Um, I've been painting a lot of those Rebel Troopers lately, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit done with them now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, tabletop standard, um, tabletop standard painting today, basically. Not that I can do anything remotely better, by the way. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I try to, but, um... But yeah, these are just um, just your basic bitches. Completing their uh, their caps right now, which is just, you know, on the primer, just a shade like this. Uh, it's funny, Mask Geek, because um, they're a bit scruffy. 
bamboo scruffy looking. No, but they're a bit scruffy. They have all kinds of colors in the army. I cannot wait to make a... Um, to make a like uh, army showcase video whenever all of them are done. Um, like I said many times before, I try to distinguish the the rebel troopers the the colors of them. So their cap has like the red band. This is the red squad. So yeah. I have a yellow one, and I have a blue one, and I have a green squad as well. It's just handy on the battlefield, and I know what all squads do, so, uh, so yeah. What do you think, by the way? So, like I just said, I did the Endor basing on this one. I still need to finish her boots and do some, some details and whatever. Um, so should I just keep this maybe for the, uh, for the, for the Bright Tree Village Battle Force? Or do you think should do everything the same? You know, here's the, the, the same discussion again about like, um, whether I should do like transparent bases and everything. So essentially we're speed painting today. <laughs> I just really wanna really wanna finish. I thought I actually thought about painting up some dwarves again just for some variation. Okay, so let's get in some um, some black ink. I use black inks by the way guys for the guns. Most of the times, so you can see here. Uh, all these guns are black and are going to be black. And this was, this was actually an accident, uh, accidental purchase. I, I didn't mean to buy an ink, but then I got an ink, and um, and then I thought, like, uh, you know what? Uh, this works very well. If you dilute it just a little bit with water, this works almost the same like as a contrast contrast paint. And since I don't have a black contrast paint yet, uh, this has been working great for me, this black. The only thing is it's pretty, um, it's pretty nasty on your brushes, the ink, so you have to clean it very thoroughly. Okay, so let's get some water in that ink. Just two drops to like, two drops to like four drops or something. This is the ratio. And as you can see, uh, it, it looks like shit now, obviously. But as you can see, it works almost the same as a contrast paint. This might even be diluted too much right now. But we can always go over with, uh, with another layer, right? Yeah, this is too light. This is way too light. But as you can see, it works pretty great. Just, just one, one pass, you know? Uh, Dwarves' bonus stream. Well, if I'm really sick, <laughs> Mass Geek, if I'm really sick of these 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 uh, basic rebel uh, troopers, I might switch this stream over. But I don't think so. I have like my thumbnail set up, and you know, 
Uh, and next week is, is going to be Mandalorian time. I promise. This is a hard, hard, hard promise. Next week, Mandalorians. I have to get them ready for the for the tournament. If you uh, do not know, and if you have not seen it, you guys, anyone in the YouTube chat or anyone in the Twitch chat, um, I think I'm a, I'm a YouTuber more than I am a streamer, or at least I don't know if that's right. I, I mean I stream more than I make v videos, but YouTube is my is my main priority. Like like making videos is my main priority basically and i did a video about attending your very first stars legion tournament and these tournaments that we're doing they're going to be a quarterly thing basically so every quarter there's going to be a tournament next tournament is going to be may the 4th yes may the 4th um, and I'm going to run a different list on every single tournament that's coming up this year. So it's a skirmish tournament, which is quite easy to get a list together with a different theme, right? So last time I did the Ewoks, the battle... Uh, ooh, I, I almost said like the battle for Skullpass. I mean, um, the Bright Tree Village. So Endor, it was uh, Ewoks, it was Chewbacca in an ATST. It was glorious. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, with Leia as a commander. Uh, but next up is like a, uh, a full Mandalorian list. Or as much Mandal Mandalorians as I can fit in at least. Uh, so that's going to be fun and I'm going to start st uh, painting those Mandalorians next week. I have assembled all of them. I just need to prime them. And I maybe should have done that today. But I, I did some other things for the channel that's coming up uh, pretty soon. So if you like uh, miniature painting, talking about miniature painting and... Miniature painting content, uh, definitely also check out my YouTube channel uh, for the uh, for the videos that I try to uh, make uh, every two weeks. So yeah, as you can see, the black doesn't look doesn't look too bad, does it? Just the black ink. And I was actually also thinking about my... There, there's so much stuff that I want to do. <laughs> but I was also thinking about getting back with... Um, getting back to the Leagues of Photon as well. The Space Dwarfs. Because I just really like the color scheme that, I, that I'm working with right now. Uh, and all of this will be, uh, will be on the stream someday. <laughs>
The only thing that I uh, still want to check. Rebel backpacks. What color? What color are they? Kind of depends. Uh, and yeah, Masky, talking about bonus streams, uh, I am still planning uh, to do those. Just to uh, to randomly appear one one day of the uh, of the week. Uh, yesterday would have been a nice one, but then I uh, I was going to visit a friend. But yeah, for the people that are new, I usually, I, I stream on Mondays and on Wednesdays. And I'm planning to do a, um, yeah, like a, a bonus stream of some sorts on whatever day is uh, most convenient. Oh, going for the inside there that is that is hard
Okay, so we're doing a pretty good job on these guys now. It's going fast. You know what's also the thing um, with, uh, with, with any models or with any unit, basically. As soon as you get... Um, Wow, this may sound very obvious, I'm realizing now. But as soon as you get like most of the uh, the base colors on, it's starting to actually starting to look good. Um, I did forget about this guy's binoculars though. So let's get that in. There we go. His binoculars are also done. Uh, and I'm going to get to the highlighting and everything as well. It's funny how this works, right? This painting thing, because um, at the beginning of the stream, I was kind of like, nah. I don't feel like doing like all these rebel troopers anymore. And now they're you know they're they're starting to look nice and they're all like almost all they're base coated um i can see that um i can get some more fun out of them with the highlights and everything so yeah let's just get them painted up properly first It's going to be fun to get all the um, all the other rebel troopers together and uh, and see how they look together in a while. I will I will do that whenever I uh, I have these sorted out. Sorted out. Sound like a Canadian there. S sorted out.
Oh, the inside of this rifle is so annoying to do. But it worked out. <laughs> I think it did. I think it did. Sure. Sure. One more to go. And then all the, the, the guns are painted at least, which is a relief. Um, I'm going to go over them with some uh, metallics later. to get on and finish my short troopers while you're doing this yeah you were very very close to finishing them i think right I do have to say the nice thing about this ink is that it flows so well. So for, for harder parts like this, it works very well because you can just drop it in there and it just flows in there. Very nice. Cool, Mouse Geek. I love those. What 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 perks do they have uh, in game? Why what makes them special? Are they special forces? I think so, right? Yeah. They're not core. They're sure, but they're not core. It's the kind of jokes that um, God, who was that? Who made that? Who made those jokes? It was not you, Celestia. It was um, Zot. 
I think Zat was the one for those kind of jokes. Right? I hope not. Oh, what's up, Jojo? <laughs> Thank you so much, my dude. Thanks for the for the resub. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, you are a boss, and have been for three months. Wow. Thanks a lot, Jojo. What's going on? I I saw you were uh, also over at. Um, Kos, Kos's, um, what's it called? Kos's stream, right? Game King Kos. I was very early, yeah. I had like a video shoot the next day that um, required me to get up at 5.30. So, so yeah. Yeah, he was doing like the Fallout stream. I enjoyed it a lot. I actually... Um, I wasn't there live, but um, I watched it back. So, uh, so yeah. What's up, boys? There he is, the man, the legend. It went very well, um, uh, Jojo. It was a very good shoot. Um, yeah, it was nice. It's Buddy Rick. It sure is Buddy Rick. It's been, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, my man. I mean, uh, me and Rick, we, we both got into the, uh, back to the nine to five, basically, at exactly the same point. <laughs> so yeah, these things uh, then happen, you know? God, I have to check the rebel uh, backpacks. I have to check the rebel backpacks. Um, so how's how's the work been, man? Backpacks are black. Okay, so I'm not done with the black yet, apparently. Yeah, busy. Money. Money. <laughs> back to the back to the old grind, eh? I um I have the same thing, but I really, really like my new job. Need something to pay for this hobby, yeah. You need to show them off in Discord. Oh yeah, I... Rick, do you know what a Discord is? I have a Discord now, since like two days. And uh, it's a great place to show off the work in progress and, uh, you know, not do it via WhatsApp and show off all my chats, basically. Yeah, so you want an invite? It's like, it's like my own Discord, but we can, uh, yeah, we can do some... Um, uh, Mas Geek is, is actually, he, he did some things. No, it's okay, but it's just a work in progress thing uh, as well. On Discord, yeah, Jojo. Uh, yeah, just, it's very basic right now. You, can, you guys can check it out right here. Oh, 
Oh, God, no. R so, Rick, it, he has a list soon that is going to destroy, destroy anything. And it's with the fifth brother and the seventh sister. Is item Verzio a commander, by the way? I'm never sure. Uh, but yeah, guys, I, I highly, highly recommend you joining the Discord. It will be the place, the winner circle, yeah. What? I needed a name. It's the first thing I came up with. <laughs> I, I was first thinking about the wind crowd, as in the in crowd. Celestrian, please forgive me for these for these names. Oh my fucking oh god! Oh, this fellowship of the wind. Oh. Oh god, that's good. It, it is a bit long though, I think. For for a Discord. Oh, but oh, but damn. <laughs> oh god. I mean, there's so many ways we can uh, we can, we can do this, of course. Winchest, oh my! F <laughs> oh God! The winner, the winner. Yeah, I. <laughs> I mean, I I have been thinking my my first my first uh, company name, like the company that I still have, um, was called For the Win. The bunny being the logo of a group called Winchest is even better. <laughs> Winster is coming. Oh my. Winter is coming. Yeah, so Black Remnant is, uh, is done, apparently. Any idea why Mini Marvels? I mean, it, it could have something to do with li licensing issues, right? House witnessed. Very good. Might be interested in joining the Discord. Oh my lord! <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, the winner circle. It's pretty cool, right? No, it has to do with him not earning enough from it. So he was doing part-time work, but he, as he's in IT, he was making way more money if he would just went back to work. Is it about money, though? Is it? <laughs> Dad mode off. Okay. Uh, so I just did a uh, backpack for the black when I realized I already did it in brown. Well, okay. You know what? Whatever. Um, God, I'm so done with these models, guys. I, I really should not say that because you know we're having fun here but basic bitches rebel troopers i'm pretty done with them i just cannot stand that they are still 
You know, they were unpainted for so long. Uh, at a certain point, you just have to finish them. Because otherwise, it's never going to happen. And, and that's what I've been doing for the past two weeks or something. Maybe even more. Uh, but I am very, very happy when these are done. Very happy. Yeah, I can, uh, I can do it. Yes. Just going to get some nice colors on there. This is going to need a second coat. God damn it. Uh, and then do some shading. And I'm very, very glad that, uh, that I can start with my Mandalorian soon. Um, and after that, after like all the, um, after the Mandalorians, there's... Uh, there's kind of like a crossroads. I have to decide on what to do next. Uh, I'm thinking about doing... Um, on working on the... Um, on the Blood Bowl starter set that I recently got. Because I, I, I kind of feel like painting orcs. I, 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 it's been a while. Anyone has a nice funky color scheme for the Tyranet Bogo Boy? Um, you know what, Celestrian? Did you see that video of... I think it was Midwinter Minis. And Midwinter Minis, he did like... Um, different kinds of paint schemes for, for Tyranids. Oh, well, while we're at the topic of Tyranids... What's up, Jace? <laughs> Uh, Celestrian is just asking about the Tyranid paint scheme and Jace is is painting up a very, 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 very awesome one. Is it? It might be done already. Hey, what's up, O'Malley? Thank you for the lurk, my man. Is it done already, Jace? Or... I mean, it's a big... Ooh, he's done. Okay. Um... Well, maybe we can show it off then. If you want, Jace, um, I know you're probably in a million discords already, but you can drop it in here in the um, showcase if you want. Hey, Leon, no smoke. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. If you're new here, uh, hello. My name is The Winners and I do content, uh, miniature hobby content. I do videos on YouTube, which you should definitely check out. Um, and Twitch is uh, every Monday and Wednesday. I do painting live streams. I'm painting Star Wars Legion at the moment, but I'll soon be painting up some, uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, and also, if you want to, you can join the Discord link that I just dropped there. I'm, I'm very new at Discord and, and the whole shebang, but um, I'm, I'm planning to do some cool stuff there. The main, the main reason for, I mean, the main incentive for being on the Discord with me is I will, I'll be there to chat um throughout the week so normally we just chat right now with with everybody uh but you can yeah you can just go there have a chat there but also give me some ideas for new videos and stuff and i really take into consideration whatever you guys think about new content and everything and if you have cool ideas you can just drop them uh there done okay let's uh let's take a look then 
let's take a look. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Uh, just give me a quick second, you guys. So here we are. This is the Discord, by the way. Um, oh, I see some people have joined. Nice, nice. Um, oh, god damn it, man. <laughs> oh, god damn it. First knit ever. Very, very cool. I love his... Um, what do you call it? The carapace? Carapace? Ah, oh, it's so, so, so awesome, my man. Love it. It, it almost gives me a bit of... Um... Hey, what's up, makeshift? Uh, makeshift. It, it gives me a bit of... Um... Like uh, like Dragon Ball Z vibes as well, you know, with Cell. He has that uh, that 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 cells. I think the cell color scheme going on a bit, right? Very 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 awesome. I love it. I love how you did the. Um... I love how you did the blood as well. The technical stuff is is that from the GW stuff or did you make your own? I mean the Citadel stuff. I joined Discord. Uh, I can because I'm German, but your stream is nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, it's it, it's just the same. Um, I love it. I love it. Like, um, let me let me check. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, the purple and um, it's just the purple and uh, wow, I'm slow today. I'm sorry. Ah, the purple and the green. Very, very cool. It's Uhu glue. Well, it looks nice. But makeshift, how are you? How are you? Uh, it's very very cool Jace you did that quite you didn't really paint off stream or did you maybe Yeah, it also kind of has the uh, Evangelion uh, vibes, yes. Never paint off stream. No, not me either. Like, maybe for, for a video or something, but barely happens. Oh god, this... I should really pay attention that this is not starting to look like shit. Um... I'm just going to do some 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 brown on the boots and not do a contrast paint because it doesn't look too good. Uh, 
We know who you are and where you are. You are. We are watching. Illuminati is watching. Oh, that sounds exciting stuff, man. I once had a um, a video shoot. It was meant to be an interview. Um, yeah, triangles. <laughs> I, I once had a video sh a shoot inside of the um, um, free uh, a Freemasonry house, and we were supposed to do an interview there and ask them about stuff. Uh, and it was their gig, so it was they were paying us to be there and to interview them, and then we were asking questions, and I didn't want to answer them. So I ended up with footage of them not answering any questions. One of the easiest edit jobs I ever had, you guys. <laughs> I'm not shitting. This was, this was uh, 2012 or something. Jonesy, what's up? Been in the stream for a while, just forgot to say hello. Hello. Hello, hello. That's no problem. People can be on the lurk all they want. How have you been though? Yeah, 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 Rick, that's exactly it. They have to keep the mystique going, but they could have told us that they wanted to keep the mystique going. Um, instead of us preparing all kinds of questions that they uh, okayed on as well and then we come there and then nobody wants to answer it it was funny though it was uh, it was shoot with my uh, with my dad actually it was very very cool <laughs> it was cool to 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 witness it's always with uh, with with video jobs basically you you get to places that you uh, would never normally be. I had the same with, uh, I was in a slaughterhouse once where I had to, um, where I had to film like the slaughtering of a cow, which was uh, traumatic. Uh, to be honest. <laughs> And uh, yeah. So Rick, how is the um, how is the, uh, the 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 upcoming tournament going? Do you have any uh, any people joining in? Like probably people from last time, a few. I hope. How is uh, how's the planning going? I mean, you have boards enough, <laughs> probably. Uh, if you do not know, by the way, uh, chat. Uh, Rick, who is also in the chat, he organizes uh, Stars Legion tournaments uh, and is a Stars Legion player and is one of my best friends. So uh, we really got into uh, the whole shebang uh, together. And you might recognize him from some of the videos on my YouTube channel. 
If you did, did not check out my YouTube channel, you can uh, go ahead and do that if you want. I think there's some, some helpful uh, uh, content in there. In there. On there. I feel that my English is getting worse and worse the more I stream. I don't know what's going on, but... Yeah, but you didn't have a lot of time lately, I imagine. I mean, I have the same thing right now. <laughs> That's a good thing, yeah. Expect two more, like like what happened the last time, right? Yeah, so I have a bachelor party this weekend. My, my God. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. It's not mine. It's, it's one of my friends. Um, but yeah, for that reason, I cannot play a game this weekend. But we... Uh, can, can you do like... Like, like, is there any weekdays that you, that we can do it? Yeah, I'm too old for things like, yeah, I, me too, me too. I mean, me and Rick, we went out a couple of months ago, nah, like two months ago or something. This was a, uh... This was a very, very hard night for both of us. And an even worse day. Vlog it? No way. That's that's no. I've seen I've seen the uh, the plans for this weekend, and it's not going to be pretty, guys. It's not going to be pretty. I think I'm just going. I'm going to be embarrassed most of the time. So it's either just be embarrassed or drink enough. To, uh, to make it less so. Probably the last thing. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Nah, but it's... Uh, it's for my friends, you know? It's, it's, not, it's not about me. It's about my friend. So... Uh, it's going to be... We're going to have some fun there, yeah. We're going to do like the, the, the buck standard thing of going to Amsterdam. Um, although I think we're going to do like a virtual reality thing. So we're going to do like virtual reality uh, shooting. Um, a shooter. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. Uh, but that's going to be fun. And after that it's just mainly uh, beer. Beer, 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 beer. There will be no stream on Monday. I, I talked about uh, I talked about it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm just going to try and take it easy. That's that, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's it's like from I think it's from like eleven in the morning until God knows when. And I think eleven in the morning is the first cafe stop. So the first pub. We're going to visit is, is at 11 and knowing this group of people uh, there will be no saving us no but i'll be there on monday i'll be there on monday i'll talk about all the wild adventures
So Moss Geek, how's it going with the Shore Troopers? By the way, Rick. I saw that you were playing um, Red Dead Redemption 2. Is this your first playthrough? Ah, okay. That's one of the few games that I uh, that I did finish on my first playthrough. I'm um, I played a bit of uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I don't know if you um, you should definitely check that one out. There's actually some of your, um, it's, it, it's, uh, the time frame is very, very, very cool. Um, I think it is, I'll check, but I, it's just, just when the empire have, has taken over, I think. Like just after order, um, what's it called? Order 66. Yeah, I think I think it's just after. Yeah, actually, um, Jedi Fallen Order, the game. I think it is like he's one of the survivors of Order sixty six. I think, and I think it is also on because you're you're on. Um, yeah, you are on PS four, right? I think it is on PS four actually. I think it came out on PS four, but I'm I'm not sure. Uh, let me check because it, it's a must play it's a must play for you yeah it's on ps4 my man it's five years after Okay, five years after Order 66. Okay, so... So, the... Um, how was his name again? I'm not sure, but... It, um, he, he was one of the... He was a Jedi, right? He was a Jedi apprentice. Cal, I think it was his name was Cal. Yeah, yeah, and the first, uh, this is not like really spoiled, sp spoiler territory because it's so early on, but you, you meet some inquisitors. And uh, some, um, yeah, some of those, uh, uh, the ones that you're painting up right now, uh, Rick. Those kinds of uh, puppies. But the game is just, it's just real. It has like perfect, perfect vibes. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I love it a lot. Cal Kestis, yeah. Yeah, Rick, you're going to love uh, you're going to love that game. So uh, whenever you're done and you're still into uh, playing some games, should definitely be up next. It's I think it's essential. 
Essential lore. Is it canon? It is canon, right? Uh, probably, because otherwise uh, they wouldn't have okayed it. I'm uh, I'm very curious to see how the uh, story uh, develops. I'm I'm I think I'm 20 hours in or something of that game. Uh, let me just check. I still have to be in Harlem at 8 o'clock tomorrow, but um, <laughs> it's going to be fine. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to do... Okay, so, so, so let's first... Um, fix his backpack and then after that we're going to highlight some of those reds uh, waiting for a Jedi survivor to drop in price yeah I um, I want to play uh, both of them but uh, first I have to finish this one and now I started fallout so you know how it goes <laughs>
Uh, the painting of it, uh, Jace. You mean? I did not start the painting. I, I, I actually thought about assembling some Blood Bowl orcs today. Uh, but then I saw these guys and I, I just have to finish them, you know. Um, but what I, what I, there's, there's a few things in the works. Um, I want to do a diorama build soon for a video with the, uh, with the gnomes. So I'm finally going to paint up the gnomes and everything. Um, that way I will learn about diorama making and everything. And then the thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to attempt and build a blood bowl stadium. <laughs> So, uh, a Blood Bowl 7 stadium, just with the... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm i going to try and do it with these guys, but I don't want it to be too flimsy. Maybe flimsy is, is the, yeah, the thing that will sell the effect, but... Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to see. For now, I, uh, I'm going to have to assemble some of the orcs. And the other team, so I can get my uh, my my Blood Bowl teams ready. But that's that's going to take a while, seeing uh, how fast I uh, normally uh, paint, or how slow I normally paint. But I really feel like uh, painting some orcs soon, because uh, a while ago, like maybe two years ago or something, uh, I got this paint set, uh, including this one. And yeah, this is going to this is going to be fun for the uh, obviously for the uh, for the orcs. So I'm looking forward to um, to using these paints. But first up are the Mandalorians. I'm going to paint up the Mandalorians uh, next week, and then we have the Star Wars Legion tournament coming up, the May the fourth. And then after that, I'm going to see if I can uh, join a Blood Bowl tournament. And yeah, then I'm going to maybe do some preparation videos for that or something. We're going to have to see. Okay, so guys, um, I'm just going to get myself a drink, so I will be right back. Um, and um, yeah, I'll take about, uh, I think I'm going to get myself a coffee. So uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be right, uh, right back. All right, bye bye.
Hey, what's up? I'm I'm also I'm kind of afraid to do the Mandalorians on stream because usually it's uh, it's a bit easier now I have my camera up in here but I used to have my camera in front of me and it was actually pretty hard to paint and I was like you know what this is not the way <laughs> because um, yeah what's the point of a painting stream when you cannot paint properly but um, uh, next week I'm going to prime the Mandalorians. I have assembled one unit of them. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do the Clan Ren color scheme for three of them because that's one unit. And then we have four random Mandalorian um, um, warriors. And I'm going to paint them up in different kinds of schemes, like all kinds of very cool ones from the from the Mandalorian show, like Children of the Watch. So that's going to be next. Uh, that's going to be next week, probably. I am also very excited for that. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's for the uh, for the next tournament. I also have to finish uh, Sabine, which is going to be probably one of the hardest models that I ever did. Her paint scheme is pretty pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, next week we should get a uh, game uh, going, Rick, because uh, it's been a while. A bust, Jace. Ooh, can you share that somewhere? That sounds, uh, <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. So many hobby projects, so little time. I um, I really want to try a uh, to do a bust one time, just to paint um, at a, a different scale. That's why I asked uh, last time, Jace, like the uh, Crisis Protocol, the Marvel Crisis uh, Crisis Protocol models, if they are, I think they are a big, bigger scale. I want to see what I can do with uh, with bigger skill because I really enjoyed doing the um, uh, doing the Albear because it's just a bigger bigger model. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh wow. <laughs> I 
That's crazy. That's very cool. It's like a display uh, bust, you know, with um, with all that's going on. That's cool. This is a good way to uh, to test your um, non-metallic metal uh, again, uh, Jace. Doctor Doom, Deadpool, and Thanos. Okay. Yeah, because you were a big uh, Marvel fan, right? What's your favorite piece of Marvel uh, media? Is it like mostly the comics or more into the into the films I uh, I grew up with the um, with the X-Men uh, animation and uh, I uh, I remember that I was a uh, a very very big fan of that. It was like the Saturday morning show basically back then. And that's where my uh, my fascination and slight obsession for Gambit uh, came in. I'm a massive, massive Gambit fan. I remember that they were planning to do a uh, Gambit film, but it got cancelled. And I love the new uh, X-Men show as well, by the way. I watched a few episodes. I might watch an episode after stream before I go to bed. I had a thing for Storm. Yeah, I can imagine, uh, Rick. <laughs> I can imagine. How are you? Uh, how are you with um, with Armada? By the way, uh, Rick, are you are you still playing? <laughs> yeah. Storm was amazing. She's, uh, I think she's also in the new animation. The new animation is really cool. I, uh, um, Rick, if you haven't seen that, give it a try. I mean, I think both Mask Geek because a movie Storm was like, um, Oh God, what's, I just had her name. Halle Berry, right? Yeah, I mean, she's amazing. What are, um Okay, every now and then, yeah, I did a tournament early this year and organized myself one Armada. <laughs> Mas Geek, who didn't, eh? <laughs> but what are some of the things that, um, that you guys are excited about, like series-wise, nerd culture-wise, coming up? I mean, there's a new Star Wars show coming. There's a new Star Wars game coming, by the way, as well, which I would... Edge of the Galaxy, I think it is. 
I'm excited for that. Uh, but for me personally, uh, of course, it's going to take a long time, but I cannot wait uh, for the next season of Fallout. The Tales of the Empire series is going to be cool. The Gentleman on Netflix, I have yet to see it, but even uh, my uh, my other buddy, Gali, he, uh, he, he loves that. And Tales of the Empire is like... Remind me again. Here you go. Saw this the other day and knew it was from someone. I couldn't remember who, but it's you. Okay, awesome. And wasn't there like a new one already? Like is 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 the Ac acolyte? Isn't that out right now? Which uh, was maybe kind of like infested with with wokeness and all <laughs> the crap I heard about it. I mean, I can uh, I can see through that, but Disney sure has its uh, has its way on some of these franchises. Uh, but what do you mean, uh, Jace? <laughs> yeah, Outlaws. I hope it's going to be good. I mean, it sounds good. Let me check that out, Chase. Hydrate, good one. Good one. Oh, God damn it, Chase. Fuck. Let me pop over. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. Ah, oh, the cards are going to be very, very cool to, uh, to paint up. Looks like it's, um, it's highly textured as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a massive, massive, massive Gambit fan. Um, I dressed up like him once when I was, I think, about 10 or 12 years old or something in my uh, on my primary school uh, carnival thing. I had this like this this beanie, which I cut the head like the the upper part off, and I always had this this long hair. It's kind of like uh, you know. And, and went crazy with it. Had a little little trench coat on. Yeah. Doctor Do. Okay. Yeah. The, okay. Boring is uh, Boric is sending it to you. You know when it's coming in? Because I'm pretty curious to see. I mean, this looks pretty. This looks insane. His jacket looks very, very textured, and I always liked that about. That's this. This is why I want to do a bust, you know. Um, to see a bust is the bust is is really going to uh, to enable you to to see what you learned from all the painting, you know. Should be ending. Uh, should be painting at the end of next week. Okay, cool, awesome. This is really, really awesome. Hi, Rick. Uh, 
you can get like into the to the finicky details of you know uh, skin skin tones and all that with a bust uh, and yeah like I said it's kind of like a way to show if you you have your painting theory stuff if if it works out like. Like you, uh, you do. Uh, oh, here. Aha, yeah, there we go. Awesome. He's like a dark angel, uh, Jace. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool stuff. Yeah, I'd love to do a, a bust uh, one day. I, I actually think that after my my Star Wars Legion, uh, after I finish all my Star Wars Legion stuff, which is still, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Uh, I'm going to work on some uh, some one-offs, some some you know just some some bigger models or like the uh, the Blood Bowl team is also a it's a Blood Bowl is a bit of a bigger skill, I think. Well, I'd love to do a uh, a bust one day. Uh, also, what we we also have like um, Kaiju Mon on the Mini Marvels web shop. I can check that out as well. God, this is pretty cool. Look at this. This is new. Kaijumon. Uh, this is one that I uh, that I uh, want to uh, try, and then do mostly airbrushing with some um, with some inks. I have a perfect ink for this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this one, magenta one. And then I have this one, a fluo color by Vallejo as well. And I have Magas Purple contrast paint. So that's that's all great in an airbrush. That will be perfect for this one. Uh, I also have a lot of um, I I have a lot of experience with purple because I did. Uh, like burgundy purple ish. I did like my entire Adeptus Mechanicus army uh, with that. Scyther. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's that's cool. How tall is this? Uh, Mini Marvels. How tall is this? Uh, 
I love this one. And the uh, Rayquaza one. Holy shit, this is cool. <laughs> really, really cool. Um, obviously, the Haunter one is cool. Charizard. Also very cool, but especially the uh, the Gengar. It's uh, Gengar is is probably my my favorite. <laughs> it's Rayquazo. Blast! <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> God, I have to say, Mini Marvels, you have very, very decent prices, man. Like, for real. This one is very cool as well. Very awesome. But this is probably the one that I'm getting. No, I think those are the product. What? I just saw Tyranitar. It's translated. I am Tyrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in English. Lurking while watch Fallout. Okay. Well, if you get back, where are you, Makeshift? Where, where are you in the series? I, I binged every, every single episode. Uh, oh, sorry, Celestia, and I missed your uh, your thing. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's really, really cool. Awesome. Awesome. I had a very, very funny video. I think, am I going to be able to show it off? Uh... I never thought I'd be saying this, but thank you, Amazon Prime. You made Fallout so good that my girlfriend wants to play. <laughs> yeah, this. Wait, just give me a sec. I have to, I have to show this off. Um, I don't know if you can properly hear it. I hope so. I'll be quiet. I never thought I'd be saying this, but thank you, Amazon Prime. You made Fallout so good that my girlfriend wants to play Fallout after watching it. She wants to play a 14-year-old game. Do you know how big this is for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I was getting fed up with knits. What do I print next? 
bugs. I had never painted uh, Tyranids, but um, yeah, I'd love to one day. I think if I'm going to paint Nits, I'm going to like do the same as like Jace did. Just just do like a big ass model. I know I'm not going to play Tyranids. Uh, we talked about this before, by the way. I have a deja vu, but. Um, I know I'm never going to to play an entire army of Tyranids, but I'd love to paint something big, a big bug. Yeah, my girlfriend actually sent that video to me. Um, she said. Right after we, we finished Fallout, the next day, she said, can we, can we maybe watch it again? I was like, yes, baby. Yes, we can. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. She, she loved Fallout and she, was, she always had an interest in Fallout somehow. She's not a gamer. Um, but she, she is a, a bit of a nerd. Uh, and she she loves Fallout. She loves the uh, the setting and everything. I mean, I got her to play uh, the Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy, which was I think her first experience with like like a proper, you know, one of those action RPG action adventure games, basically. And she liked that. She finished that game actually. I didn't even finish that game. Um, yeah, <laughs> but uh, maybe I can get her into Fallout. Yes, maybe. I mean, she's a bit, she's a bit scared sometimes. So the, uh, she said, like, is it a scary game? Uh, it's it's not it's not a super scary game, especially if you just put on the the Fallout like the Diamond City radio, right? You do have a lot of Tyranids though. You you bought the box, right, uh, Jace? So you have a lot of Tyranids uh, laying around. It's scary when a death class starts sprinting your way. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are the moments that she's going to freak out. She already had it with Hogwarts Legacy because sometimes you have to go into a dungeon, right? You have to go underground or like in a tomb or something. And then, and then I was playing on my Switch, like, I don't know, like Zelda or something. And I hear her like, uh, I don't want to do this. And then, then I have to do like all the scary parts. So, but, but Fallout, you know, just relax with the nice music on and, you know, it's a death claw, but let's beat the shit out of him, you know. I think Fallout has a very different vibe. It's, it shouldn't, it's, it's scary, not in a dungeon kind of way. Hogwarts, it was a bit scary, Celestrian. There was some scary parts with zombies and, and all that kind of, you know, in, in in the dark and that that's what I mean. It's more like an uh, environmentally scary thing, uh, if, if, I, if I say that correctly. Like an ambient, I don't know. <laughs> Revelio, yeah. 
it's <laughs> it's never really dark. <laughs> Oh gosh, I might have a problem here. <laughs> I might have a problem here. I think I um, I put sealant on these bases. God, why does it look so shiny on stream? And now the boots, they won't catch the paint. Nice. Nice work. Find games that are not scary uh, give me the jump scares. The horror scary g games rarely get me. Yeah, yeah. I have the same thing. I remember like playing playing Skyrim, and you go into a dungeon, um, and you you get those chills, right? You get like ah, something's going to something is here, and it's it's after me. I did also try out Fallout 76 this weekend, by the way, but I am not a multiplayer gamer. I, I don't, I never really enjoy that. Uh, and then I f thought to myself, like, what, why, you know, I, I could also be playing Fallout 4 right now. <laughs> What's up, Rainbow? I smell incredible today. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> so guys, yeah, I showed it off. I showed it off uh, one time already. Uh, but if you do not follow the Rainbow, please Please, please, please do. I, I watched an entire stream, like, yes, or not even an entire stream. I got in in like hour three or something. Um, and then stayed up very, very late because seriously, Rainbow, it was very, very late last night. I think uh, you stopped at like uh, 2.30 or something. But I uh, enjoyed every single moment of it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Rainbow was, of course, she was uh, painting up like the the sticker giveaway uh, illustrations. <laughs> Only 2.45. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. It was a very cool stream. And she'll be online tomorrow, I think, right, Rainbow? I was there just, just, uh, I was in awe in like there, there was a next, there was more drawings coming all the time and yeah. But what about sleep? Yeah. Um, oh, a bit sick. It's no good. We'll get better soon then, uh, Rainbow. I, I, I'll try to be there tomorrow. <laughs> Sleep is just coffee. For people with too much time on their hands. This is true. I am going to have to sleep early today though. Again. Or not too early. But like in like maybe. 
half an hour or something, 20 minutes. To get back to the to the old to the old grind. No, I have a very nice day tomorrow. We have a video shoot again. <laughs> I think the witness dome is my favorite. I almost don't want to send it. Yeah, it's uh, I I love I love all of them. I uh, showed them off earlier. The clip. And I'm definitely going to use that clip whenever I'm going to make a video about uh, like the giveaway and uh, and all that kind of stuff. We're going to make something special out of it if if it's going to happen um, or when it's going to happen. Rather the the 1,000 subs. It's been going slow, I have to say, but uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm I'm in no rush. Let's say it like that. I'm in no rush. But keep it if you want to keep it, uh, Rainbow. Feel free to crop my face out of the clip. Come on, Rainbow. I already told you yesterday. Oh yeah, and you got me one of those um, cup. What, what was it called again? Cup rug, mug rug, mug rug. <laughs> That's true. The mug rug, yeah. I'm going to feature it on the. I'm going to feature it on the stream um, a lot. I think it's my new painting mug rug. Not for my painting cup, but for Bacafi. And I will get the uh, the um, the stickers like up here or something for now for when I'm when I'm still not at one thousand below one thousand. Hey Lorna, what's going on? <laughs> My <laughs> the existential crisis is mu mushy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it was about his his smile, but I mean. Kind of contemplating life rather to be happy or very, very sad or something happened in, in the life of that little mushy. But that's what art should do, right? Like it's it's like you should think about the subject, like what what, what did that little mushy go through? This is fine. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, so scary, scary spider, uh, spider guy. Um, I think he needs like, uh, what paint does he need? I don't know. Let's wait on that. Nah, but it was a, it was an awesome stream, Rainbow. I had a lot of fun. 
I was kind of like half half asleep at some point though. But that's what uh, what some um, some streams are uh, are good for, right? As well. Like the first two hours, I was. very much con concentrating on everything and then fall asleep and then was concentrating again and <laughs> yeah so but don't you have like an etsy shop or something uh rainbow or do you always just do it from uh from the streams I don't know how Etsy works for these shops, but I mean, I, I believe you could definitely sell them there. Or give them away as like subscriber perks or, or something like that. Then you have to be sending out lots of things though, lots of packages. And the music was nice yesterday. Really enjoyed the list you were rocking there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, we talked about this before, right? You're just on that um, on that threshold that it's not really interesting for you to uh, to uh, get the Texas uh, thing going in uh, in Germany. Minimarvels, did you see uh, did you see Rainbow's totes and uh, and the gnomes and everything? Very cool, right? I love the, especially love the totes. They're really, uh, I mean, they, they were almost like, they were realistic, you know, like the, 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 the shine on them and everything. Yeah, and that, and that eye, that is, that is scary. The all-seeing eye. We were ju we just had someone talking about the Illuminati all of a sudden. Uh, so he should have been uh, should probably be happy with that. But is was it is it maybe the shine of of like like the how do you call it the glossiness? Oh, it's so calm in here. <laughs> is it? Is it Omni? What's up? Were you just at a very, very... Busy one? Sexy beast. The undercut. What's the undercut? I'm I'm kind of snooping now, but ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I get my sound board whatever uh, uh going you can probably do the same here i'm going to uh, next week i'm probably going to work on some some more 
more more cool things for the stream or whatever. Oh, you mean an yeah? Okay, okay, okay. And you're all going for an undercut now, or what? <laughs> okay, my Mohican reinstated. Dutch braids. <laughs> I mean, obviously my hair isn't that long, but I once did an undercut. I also, I did it myself then. Just basically just this. And then had very long hair here. I was very angry at the, at the time. And I decided that that was a very good idea. <laughs> yeah, Rick. Of course, I remember your emo cut, man. Yeah, the emo cut. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I also, I also kind of had an emo cut, but it was a bit more messy, right? Like Rick had this really, really like shiny, shiny emo cut. We were going to the to the festival, right? Like the Give It a Name festival. And then your emo cut was not in order. I'd speak to you soon. Um, let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. I'm, I'm, like I said, like the skill seventy five thing. Just let me just think about some cool content I can do with it. And I, yeah, obviously I'm in for uh, for the thing. Uh, and Black Remnant. Uh, yeah. We can uh, make maybe maybe a bit, uh, bit of a smaller list for that. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll talk to each other. Have a good um, have a good evening, uh, Mini Marvels, and enjoy uh, Fallout if you're watching Fallout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a true story, uh, uh, chat. So Rick, me, and another, like uh, the drummer of my band, basically, we went to England, to London, uh, to the Give It A Name Festival. I think Lost Prophets were playing, Angels and Airwaves, uh, Lost Prophets, before everybody knew that he was, uh, he was an absolute fucking asshole. Um, it, uh, I don't even want to think about it. Um, so who was it? Like, like... Funeral for a friend, I think. Angels and Airwaves. Maybe taking back Sunday, even. So we're like 17, 18 years old going there. And then Rick's emo cut was not in order. So just before the festival, we had to get to a hairdresser to get his fucking emo cut in order. <laughs> It was amazing, if I think back about it, but I mean, back then, I, we were like, 
I think even even the friend that we went with, Chi, he was even he was freaking out about the time, you know, like like that we were going to miss stuff. And he's the chillest dude ever, but then I saw him freak out about it. Yeah, it was when Taking Back Sunday, they just released uh, Louder now, like the very, very, very cool album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw we saw hot emo girls for the first time ever because the Netherlands was not ready for for emo yet. It wasn't really that popular, and then we came to to England where it was really like a thing. It was it was funny. We were young back then, man. I mean, seriously, like 20 years ago, I think. Ah, not 20, not 20, but 17, let's say 70. Or, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I was mesmerized uh, too, man. I do have to say though, that because of the music, I didn't really, 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 um, noticed like yes obviously i noticed but i was i was very very much blown away by everything that was happening on stage as well like see like angel and always performing for the very first time ever i think it was like their first performance ever maybe they had like one or two shows in manchester before that i think it was something like that But it was awesome. Um, by the way, Rick, I was talking to Mini Marvels. He um, he's actually he's getting his own place for the shop, and we were thinking about doing um, doing a stream sometime in the summer where we we can both go there uh we go there and we do a live stream from live from groningen uh so maybe we can uh, make a cool weekend out of it just uh he said he has like a place to stay and everything where we can also do like a maybe maybe a hotel or whatever uh so we do a live stream from there Okay, Rainbow, I hope you, uh, you'll you get better soon. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And thanks again for all your effort, uh, Rainbow. You are the best. You're the sweetest. The boys on tour. Should I make a vlog out of it, Mask Geek? <laughs> I mean, I can make a. Hey, that's actually not a bad idea. Could just make a nice, nice little, nice little vlog around, around the uh, the Mini Marvels office. 
going to annoy the shit out of him probably. Ah, <laughs> oh, rainbow. Get better first, okay? Get 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 well. No rush, but you're awesome. You're awesome, rainbow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a um, this that that can be cool. Make a video about just a trip and uh, the the idea is to do like a uh, a live stream in Groningen at Mini Marvel's headquarters and um, do it like maybe like a marathon do something really really crazy but you had proper goth days lore now <laughs> I think Rick also had his goth days though No rest for the wicked. No rest for the awesome, you mean? <laughs> okay. Bye bye, Rainbow. You know what? I actually also kind of almost have to go. I, uh,. I want to see who's still online. Probably a few people. O'Malley is still here. Um, we have J7. We have Nate. It's hard to be goth when the toddler... <laughs> oh... Rick, you bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know you dated a, f a few, uh, a few goth girls. Yes, I remember. And Rick had these like long matrix uh, neo uh, uh, trench, like leather trench coats. I remember that as well. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to check uh, who we can raid into because uh, unfortunately I have to uh, I have to work tomorrow, so I have to get some sleep. Oh, I missed the days of, you know, like the last couple of four months. That was, that was really nice. Drum to the beat. I can try. While we check who we can. Oh, Jace is also online. Oh, you can raid into Jace. Yeah, uh, not much. It was something that I, I, I tried. You know what it is, Omni? I, uh, whenever I am at a table or at my desk or <laughs> at dinner or whatever, I always drum to the music. And people uh, have told me before it was really annoying, so I thought... I do a little uh, channel point reward for it. I'm looking at new rewards though. Um, I, I have to do some serious upkeep of my, my channel because there are some things that are not right about it. Um, Jembe, all right, all right. Yeah, I always have this thing that I'm uh, like 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 drumming everywhere people always think I'm nervous 
It's just the music in me, you know? I just have to. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. I mean, we, yeah, we're, we're just going to raid into, uh, into Jace. I always raid into Jace. Okay, so yeah, I um, completed the raid for Jace right now. Um, you guys, I would like to thank you all for watching. Sorry for getting blurry. This is what you do with manual lenses. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for uh, being awesome. For I, I got a few subs today, which is which is cool. Um, Next week, I'll be painting up the Mandalorians. I'm so done with these models now. I'm really, I, I cannot see any more basic rebel troopers in my face or I will murder someone. Um, so yeah, if you do not follow Jace, but I think everybody does, uh, please give him a follow. He's, he's awesome and he's always, I'm pretty curious to what he's streaming today though, uh, to what he's painting. But yeah, thanks so much. Next week's streams, Mandalorians. Um, no video this week, probably, but um, I'll be back uh, next week. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. And um, have some fun at Jay's, rate, uh, J Jay's channel right now. Okay, let's go. Bye-bye. <laughs>